Hey, it's a bright new day again, my friends. Today, we are going to be going in-depth on how to get the Ashake vocal choir effect or whatever you want to call it, guys. You already know. So if you are here and you haven't watched part one of this particular video, you definitely need to check it in the description below or in the comment section. Because I did so well from the comments I received, it shows that I did so well. Everybody was happy. Just a quick reminder, in the part one, we really dive in depth. We talked about how to record this vocal for it is so, so essential in getting this particular vocal type. How to pan the vocal, how to round the vocal in the FL Studio mixer. Meanwhile, in this video, we are just going to be talking about how you can mix this vocal to get the Ashake vocal type, guys. So, without further ado, let's just dive into the video. Let's listen to the vocals. I need to So if you are here and you have not subscribed, please oh, don't be like that. Please hit that subscription button and turn on that notification so that anytime I post, you get to be notified because we continue to post banger stuffs. Yes. So right now, let's pull up our mixer and see what we did in the last video. I believe in the choir. This is, let's see. This is, okay. Now, we routed everything in the six right yeah so we have our eq on this track already and i believe you guys still know and if you if you have forgotten anything you just need to go back learn it from there so let's just move now we cut out lows right here this particular vocals what we need to do to this vocal we really need to make this vocal to feel natural Yes, we don't need to overdo the processing of this particular vocal for it might sound like unnatural, right? Yes, we want it to really feel like that choir. So we have to process them, all of them together. So now we have this EQ right here. I already know I need to cut down some lows. But with that, let's play the beat and the vocals at once. Yeah, the reason for cutting out some lows is because I already know I'm using a low budget microphone in a way. Uh, my microphone, the microphone that I was using when we were recording is uh, was B1, Beringer B1. So, I know uh, the cheaper microphones usually have the tendency of uh, like uh, the top end boost, which is harsh. So that's why we need to first of all take it down. So if you have your low budget microphone, do consider to reduce the amount of top end before you are even mixing. Then now, let's try to look for any annoying frequency in this particular vocal to take it off. Yeah, I'm feeling something right here. Listen to it. Yes, so bring it down. Yes, I think I like it this way. Now, the next thing we need to do after this particular vocals, let's listen if we have any S's in the vocals, right? You just need you you just don't need to be adding. Like, for instance, you know, anytime you are mixing your vocals, you are using uh, EQ, after EQ, compressor, after compressor, DSR, anyhow your own chain is. I don't know. But you need to focus on what the vocal is demanding, right? Yeah, you need to focus on the demand of the vocal. So let's listen to the vocal and see if we need a DSR or not. I need to 
of course, we need Ziesa. But now we had we have our lead vocal playing as well. So our lead vocals might for us. We will think like uh, maybe we need Ziesa, but it's only the lead vocals that need Ziesa. Uh, so let's play only the background vocals. <laughs> Yeah, there's hardly no S's there because we were a little bit far away from the mic during the recording stage, right? Which I explained in the previous video. Now, let's load up a compressor. We are just nervous right now. Okay, this is it. After we compress this vocal, we might enhance some S's and stuff, but we will take care of them if they come if they pop up to disturb our business. And when you are compressing, guys, try to look at, look at the metas where your original vocal was speaking. Then you start compressing and make sure you are not re reducing or even increasing the gain. It is very, very important. So you should not Thing that the compressor is working where the compressor is not working or vice versa. So we are at negative 18. So let's compress. Now let's bring up some gain. I don't know if I explained to you guys in the part one to look at uh, the vocals, like to align them well. Because now that I'm hearing the vocals after compressing, I'm feeling like some vocals are lengthy. Let's listen. Okay, as you can hear, as you can hear now, some S's are even some um, some vocals are lengthy like this one. It's like, yeah, you need to shorten it. Let them end at once. Maybe for siblings, they usually become or became very very annoying. Now you hear them ending well, they end romantically, right? So whenever you take your time to align the vocals for them to sit right nicely with uh, among themselves, then you are going to end up with a very, very much tighter sounds. Unless your own choir is the type of choir that anybody is just singing anyhow. So, but now you know, you know what to do when you are recording your vocals. So the next thing we need to do, let's listen to the vocals and determine what we will need from this vocal next. <laughs> Yeah, I still feel like some vocals are still like popping out too much. But when we would, but of course, it is going to always be like that. You know, the people that, the people in the choir that are singing off key, like the people, the people who don't know anything about singing, the people that are just humming, they usually add some vibe, you know, they usually add some vibe because when they are doing what they are doing, it ends up. When you are hearing the choir, like you are the audience, right? You are listening to the choir. You feel like, wow, this thing is nice. There are some people inside there that don't actually know what they are singing. They are just doing anyhow. And you will be feeling it as nice. So when we will put our uh, our lead vocal on this thing, you will you feel like everything is cool. Yeah, that's it. Those on future right here is still like sounding. Listen to it. Future, future. You 
hear that chore sounds like a delay. Yeah. So this one, we need to fix it. The obvious ones, we fix them. Future. Future. Cool. So right now, and on this particular vocals, if we want to add the reverb and delay, we can add them on the scene, but we are still going to get to, to that. So right now, we can add a plugin like um, uh, CLA Vocals. Yeah. Now we have it right here. So with this plugin, let's just go to any backing vocals right here. Start me up. Just try that. Of course, it's too much, right? So the compressed the compressor here is really compressing too much. So then they are boosting too much high. So we bring them a little bit. Yeah, let me do the compressor a little bit. Let me add it up. Right here we have a slap back delay and a tight room reverb. Yeah, are you hearing something? Are you hearing something? Something is coming, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A tight room reverb we just use to keep the vocals in a particular space. Right now, we are still going to use this wider, this spreader knob right here. Let's spread the vocals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is coming, right? Now, you listen to the vocals, how they are white. Yeah, they are really going out of the speakers. Right now, we have added a compressor, added some top end, added some tight reverb just with this one plugin. So you should not get confused and say we have used just a, we have used a limited stuffs on this one. But it's all good. Whatever comes out should be good. So now we just need to load uh, a reverb. Reverb. Now this is it. Now we want to send this particular vocals right at the back. Remember, when you want to send something to go right at the back, what you need to do is you can reduce the top end. You can, you can reduce the velocity. Yeah, of course, when you reduce velocity of something, it will feel like it is right at the back. So we are going to reduce the velocity a little bit. And then we bring the lead vocal up front. Yeah, that thing is sounding like something you've heard before, right? Yes, yes, yes. We are getting close. The main goal here is to still allow the lead vocal popping up right in front of voice. Okay, 
Okay, so right now, for the lead vocal, I don't know, you can mix the lead vocal just the way you always mix your, your lead vocal. You don't have issues with that. But after, when you are mixing your lead vocal, make sure to add a, a chorus on it. Yes, make sure to add a chorus on it. Let me just go to a preset, any preset I usually use on a lead vocal. And if you need our preset pack, the link will always be in the description. Seven preset inside the same pack. Uh, all the send, reverb, delay, power compression, everything is loaded in there. You can just purchase it and you are good to go. Let's use any of these presets right here for the lead vocal. Yeah, for the lead vocal. Now, one of these plug is right here. Oh, shit. Now, we need to... The auto-tune, I'm sure this particular vocal is uh, F. I'm going to do away with one of these plugins because I would like to add a chorus. The reason for adding chorus, a little bit of chorus, is to make the lead vocal feel like feel feel like feel some space, like feel like family mixed together with the chorus. Yes, I don't know if the, that is the best explanation to to this, but. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, when you listen now with the chorus on it, take the chorus off. Yeah, the lead vocal is too lonely. Though, if we are to add a reverb to the lead vocal, we will, we will not ha add too much reverb on the lead vocal because we will want our lead vocal to stay up front why the background vocals stay at the back. Are you hearing that? Now let's solo our beats. Allow me to focus on my future, on my future. Yeah, you know that sound, right? You know that sound, you know that sound. But if you know we just use this preset on our lead vocal and it is working, though we, we will still need to do some tweaking and uh, adjusting to f make it to taste. And if we continue like to add uh, effects on the lead vocal, and then you really get the full complete sound. But that is how you can mix your Ashake vocal type. It is simple for it to be natural. Allow me to focus on my future, on my future, on my future. That's it, guys. So thank you for watching and stay blessed.